What's up, degenerates? Right, lads, York on tomorrow. Lads and lasses, we have a great meeting. Focused on a couple of the handicaps. A very interesting runner on the card for me tomorrow uh, is in the 445. I'll come to that in a second. And I have got one in... Uh, one in uh, Perth as well. That's kind of judgment day for this fella. A little bit disappointing. But he did return with a better run. Uh, was it in a hurry for the last day. Right. So uh, selection still to come this evening on the Patreon service. It hasn't ran yet. Uh, been very well backed. So let's hope it gets it done. Uh, right. Tomorrow. So the 150 at York. Forza Orta. This is a progressive horse. He's nicely weighted. You know. He's a real, takes a minute to get going. So he is dropping back and trip a small bit around here. He could be back a furlong or something from what he won over the last day. But he's a progressive horse. He sneaks in off a really light weight. And uh, I just think he'll run his race. Is he uh, quick enough and good enough to win it? Who knows? Uh, returned with a, with a pretty good third and then went and won the last day. Beating a decent horse. Right, so Forza Orta, a pint each way in the 150 at York tomorrow, uh, 7 to 1. And in the 3 o'clock at York tomorrow, Dragon Symbol, Change Stables, very, very interesting horse. Is he as good as everybody thinks he is? We'll find out tomorrow. Um, I think we have to go with him tomorrow. The Change of Stable, David Egan on board. You know, he just has some really... Now, he has been a little disappointing. Now, it's, it's unfair to say disappointing, but he was fancied to win a lot of the races. And he did kind of, you know, he got beat a few times when he won and Ascot to took the race off him. But anyway, Dragon Symbol tomorrow, a pint win. I do like Etchdalab as a horse as well. He's in here tomorrow, but he has to step up to, to get to the top level, but Echdelab is a decent horse too he's in the race at a big price but we'll go with Dragon Symbol, a pint win 3-1, to one. and then in the 4.45 at York this is a very interesting runner for me tomorrow, Eagle Court, change stables to Tom Ward, they get the blue way the cobwebs in Newbury over a trip a little bit short of its best steps back up and trip to, uh, tomorrow and I think it's very nicely handicapped off 81. And I think uh, he'll be coming home. So hopefully get a good pace to aim at. And I think Eagle Court is very interesting. A point each way. Uh, 15 to 2. And then in the 6-10 at Perth. Is Fabrank or Fabrique en France. Or however you pronounce it. It's Ollie Murphy's horse. Now it's a three runner race. I do think this horse has to win tomorrow. And if he doesn't he'll be very disappointed. Little bit sluggish he was as a chaser at the start. Uh, you know but I do think after. I think he had a wind up to any rem well the last day. And I think this is it for him now tomorrow. He's either going to progress now and win. Or he's going to go in the black book. So for a break in France. That's in the 6.10 tomorrow. And uh, yeah look. Uh, hopefully we'll have a decent day uh, looking forward to this late selection tonight on the Patreon service and I have one tomorrow uh, that I'm possibly two that I'm interested in for the service one of them's around a 9 or 10 to 1 shot and uh, yeah I think he'll be uh, outrunning those odds and uh, I think he could be handicapped to run a massive race alright lads Cold Bear Sports for all your best bets. And like I said. Enjoy York tomorrow. Great Phillies race there as well. This Emily Up John. Looks like she could be something uh, pretty decent. However she is gone odds on. I'll watch her win at that price. Charlie Appleby has a second favourite in the race. She wouldn't know what she could be. One from one. So yeah I'll just stay out of that race. But uh, we'll stick with what we have. Alright. Take care. Bet safe. Kick the bookies in the nuts. And I'll chat to you soon.